it is I, Griff Hamlin. <laughs> it is I, Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed. Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I'm uh, going to do something kind of fun today. I just, uh, you know, it's Friday. I've been listening to uh, some Paul Butterfield blues band, some Mike Bloomfield stuff. And I thought, hey, let's do a Mike Bloomfield lick today. I thought that would be fun. So we are going to do that. So I'm going to show you a lick, show you how to practice it. It's a particularly kind of cool idea that he does. So I um, want to make sure that I kind of give you the context and give you a way to practice it as well as the lick. So as always, the usual stuff applies. If you want to check out all the Blues Guitar Unleashed stuff, you can check out the All Access Pass. If you have not downloaded your free How to Jam ebook, it's got a lot of the basic stuff as far as rhythm and lead stuff that I talk about, and I kind of lean on that all the time. I sort of assume you know that stuff, so you may want to check that out. And of course, uh, if you don't get my emails and you'd like to, jump on the email list there, and that is how that will work. And let me switch over some camera stuff, and let me show you this lick. All right? So... You have to imagine a blues in C for our purposes, and I'm going to show you how we're going to make that work. The lick itself, a one, a two, three, four, a one, just goes like that. Uh, starting with the eighth fret on the second string, then nine and ten on the second string, eighth fret on the first string, two, uh, three, a uh, four, a uh, one, and a uh, two, and a uh, three. There's a little half step bend at the 10th fret of the first string. Return. And then a little tweedly. Eight to 10 and back to eight. So that's a, you pluck the eight, hammer on and pull off. Then down to the 10th fret on the second string. Then the eighth fret on the first string. And then a bend with the 11th fret on the second string. Now. One kind of, this could be a whole other lesson in itself, really, is all of the things I could do, I could slide that, I could pre-bend it, I could bend it up the way it's written, slide it, and like I say, there's so many different things, little subtleties and stuff that we can do where that type of thing is 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 concerned, and Mike Bloomfield was a master at taking and, and very slightly modifying stuff to make it cool and so that it didn't sound like the same over and over even though it was almost the same over and over and over uh, as a, a great uh, gift that he had so like i said this is kind of this this lick doesn't necessarily work everywhere in a blues um, i wrote it in the key of c and it specifically works really well going from the four chord back to the one chord there's two places in a progression there's one place for sure that'll happen which is going from bar six to bar seven and then 12 bar blues, we gotta go from the four chord back to the one chord. But a lot of times we have a quick change. So we could also use this in bars two to three if it's a quick change blues. So what I'm gonna do is feed my looper a shuffle blues in C with a quick change. So one, two, three, four. my four chord, back to my one chord, and then my five, my four, here's another spot I could use it, back to one, and five. All right, so if I... There's one place that it could go. Here's the four chord, one, two, Three, four, a one. Goes good right there. Here comes the five chord. Five, two. Here's four. So if I add in some other stuff.
All right, so hopefully you can hear there that I'm actually using it in three different places when I have a quick change. If I didn't have a quick change, I have two different options. I have from bar six to seven, as I mentioned, didn't even think about the fact that the turnaround also has a four to one uh, in bars 10 to 11. So if you have a quick change, there's three different spots you can use it. So while it's great to go learn a lick, and yes, you should go learn this lick, and yes, you should use it, and yes, it should become you know part of your arsenal and it should be part of your thing, you gotta play it over either a jam track in C or you gotta play something into your looper. You gotta try these licks out. You can't just learn the notes and think that it's gonna be part of your vocabulary. It's just not quite that simple, <laughs> all right? So make sure that once you get the lick memorized, that you then go through and play it over some different tracks, play it in some different keys. You could play it over a slow blues. Um, it would just be slow. And you might wanna give it a little bit different flavor, but it's the same fundamental notes, okay? And that's a, that's a sweet lick for a slow blues, okay? It's really gonna outline the chords nicely. One of the main reasons is this little Right, because if we've got that, that's the four chord right there. We're starting at the two of the chord, the flat three, and the th then then the third, and then the fifth, and then we're bending up to the flat seventh. So while it looks kind of scalar, it's really just outlining the chord beautifully. It's a really fantastic lick where that's concerned. Okay, so I hope you will learn it. I hope you will play with it and make it part of your vocabulary and have some fun with it. As always, if you like what you see here, subscribe, follow, friend, whatever you do out there on the medias. <laughs> share it with a buddy if you have one that uh, is interested in learning some blues. Feel free to share it around. And I uh, hope you have a great day, great weekend, and I will see you soon. Take care.